Shani Lighton, thanks so much for joining us and congratulations from the outset on the announcement. Um, was it a tough decision to make? Um, initially it was, but I think it's going to be a surprise to the netball community, but to my family and really close friends it wasn't a surprise at all. I think whenever I achieved something previously, I was like, I need something more, like I need another Com Games, I need another Worlds, I need another premiership you know I was always driving always striving and probably started going through the process about eight months ago when I first took time off and when that happened I started reflecting on everything that I'd done in my career and for the first time ever I was really happy and content with it. I know I'd go back to you. Oh, Layton coming through for the fly. Oh, Layton, there you go. That's what she's been waiting for. Shani Layton, she's fired up and why not? The memories are many. The highlights are many. Yeah. Is there one moment that really sticks out for Shani Layton? For me, a one moment that probably sticks out the most, and it's just because I love the game so much as well, but just in Worlds in 2015, you know, when I first started playing netball, I was 16 years old, I was with the Melbourne Kestrels, we were getting paid $1,000 a year, and we'd get a couple of hundred, you know, people to the games. And 10 years later, to walk out in Kudos Bank Arena, 17 and a half, thousand people pumping, cheering netball and just having the opportunity to wear the green and gold dress, which I never thought that I would do. Um, for me, that just sticks out like a sore thumb and those memories I'll just cherish forever. How would you like to be remembered as a netballer? I don't know how I'd like to be remembered, just someone who gave their all to the game. I think my purpose since I first walked in the door was to make netball the biggest female sport in Australia. Um, I wanted people to love it because I knew how great it was. But just someone who wore their heart on their sleeve, that gave their all, that didn't care what other people thought about them as long as I was doing the right thing by the team. What does life involve after netball? I don't know. <laughs> and how exciting <laughs> how is exciting that? Though? I love the media, I love fitness. Um, you know, I want to go get my personal training course and things that I never thought that I'd want to do, but I figured all of this out in my time off. I'm in Melbourne, I'm with my family, and I'm just super excited to be the friend, daughter, sister, girlfriend um, that doesn't have to be selfish anymore. You've been amazing. You've been terrific for us in the media, a great ambassador for the game. Um, congratulations. Thanks, Clint. I do want to just finish off by saying, you know, a massive thank you to Netball for all it's given me. Um, it's shaped me into the person that I am today and the people that I've been surrounded with, teammates, oppositions, um, coaches, and just the sport itself has been my whole life. So it's pretty scary but exciting what's next, but I wouldn't be where I am today without it. So I just wanted to get that across.